Welcome to our South Shore Public Libraries tutorial on browsing and borrowing using the Libby app. For instructions on downloading the app and getting started, check out the rest of our videos. Upon first downloading the app and logging in, you'll be taken to this screen. To navigate back to this screen at any point, click on the house-shaped icon on the bottom of the screen. This section of the app offers recommendations and collections curated by our librarians. It's a great place to find out what's new in the collection, what's trending, and more. It's also a great space to find guides directed towards specific age groups like kids and teens. If anything on the list looks interesting to you, you can tap on the title to reveal more information about it. For example, this is where you'll see a synopsis of the book and read reviews. From this section, you can also borrow or place a hold on the title. Or, if you're not quite sure yet, you can play or read a sample of the book. From this section, you can also view what the book has been categorized or tagged as. In this context, it looks like the book has been tagged as both fiction and literature. You can interact with any of these tags by tapping on them. For example, if I wanted to view more fiction books, I would tap on the tag fiction. If this title is close to something you'd like to read but not quite right, or if you've already read this title and are looking for something similar, tapping on the similar tag is a great way to view a list of similar titles. Awesome, we've learned how to browse using Libby. But what to do if you have something specific in mind and you'd like to see what the catalog has to offer? This is where the search function comes in handy. First, tap on the magnifying glass at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. From here, you can look up specific titles, authors, or keywords. Today, I want to read a book about a library, so I'm going to type in the word library at the top of the screen. Just like when you're using Google, the app will pull up a list of search results. At the top of the screen, we can see the number of titles that the search has revealed and what format they come in. If a title is available to borrow right now, you will be able to tap on Borrow to borrow it immediately. However, if it's currently being utilized by another library patron, you can tap on Place Hold to place a hold on it, just like any other library book. The app will tell you roughly how long you have to wait until the title is available, as well as how many people are in line ahead of you. Tap on Place Hold to place your hold. If you'd like to continue browsing for the rest of your library books, you can tap on Keep Browsing or the arrow in the top left-hand corner of the screen to get back to the main page. Thank you for watching our tutorial on browsing and borrowing with Libby. For more information on using Libby, check out the rest of our videos. If you ever need any additional support, don't hesitate to give us a call, the number is on our website, or come visit us at your local library branch.